Hello everybody, so this is a part two. Well, it basically might as well be to my last video. We're gonna be going over a few electrical concepts in no order and just a few things that you can do to improve your builds. Um, we're gonna basically be going over electrical switches. We're gonna be going over the wall switch, floor switch, power inverter, and the proximity switch. So, and I believe that's three actually. But in my last video, we did go over the solar panel, the biofuel reactor, and the battery. And in another video, we will be going over the electromagnetic generator. But without further ado, let's get into it. So over here, uh, I created a, a wall that shows four different concepts of how you can use a wall switch, proximity switch, a floor switch, and a power inverter, and how to use them. Now, if you're interested in how to generate power check out my other video my last video where i'll be going solar panels biofuel reactors and batteries as this will fuel your base so if you're curious about that this isn't the video for you and that'll be my last video i went on ahead and fueled up a biofuel reactor just full of carbon just so we could fuel these ideas and the first one we have is a wall switch it's a very basic toggle switch that will fuel well not fuel but toggle a light switch on and off and over here you can even use it for doors now for these things you can use them for multiple things you don't need to just light up your base you can also open up doors and i'm going to be teaching you how to wire it to where you can open up a door because if you don't do it the right way it's going to stay closed permanently or if you wire it to the a different outlet it's not going to work your next one is a proximity switch how it turns on a light bulb like so so when you get close to one it's going to light up and when you get get farther away it's gonna dim it's a very beginner concept but the automatic door is a little bit more advanced and intermediate i taught that on my last video but you can use these ideas on different things and it works and that, this is why i feel like you should learn them although it's really big and bulky the next one is a floor switch i'm going to be teaching you how to do all of these ideas all of these concepts in a really easy and basic way i'm going to try to really explain everything but if you sprint fast enough you will get through the door depending on your the placement of the floor switch that's how you're going to be able to get through and for everything i've showed so far i've showed an example this concept includes a wall switch and a power inverter. The power inverter functions based on three sockets. The input marked with green, the output socket marked with red, and the central socket. The input socket should be connected to your power grid, and output, output socket should be considered the device you want to affect the inverter. So that would be your light source in this example. The inverter will send power through the output socket when it receives power from the uh, control socket. You won't really need this in this video, but it's still good to know. Some of this may sound kind of foreign and Greek, but this video does cover beginner to intermediate ideas and a few advanced ones as well. Um, the output control socket or the third one that's on the top or the bottom of the, of the switch may also be called a modifier. So I could be wrong. I've heard it be called that too. Before I do show the, the floor switch and how to use it, I do want to show you a really beginner-friendly way to, on, on how to operate a wall switch to open up a door. Most people do prefer an automatic sliding door, but there are some people who do prefer a simple wall switch. Maybe you want some doors to be automatic and you want some to be, I guess, sealed with a wall switch. So you're going to place your switch on to a wall. It can be any wall and it can even be hidden. You're gonna to wanna to take a wire from your power source, which will be what I'm using right here. I put my carbon in it. And you're gonna attach it to one side of the wall switch and attach it to the door. You see it closes, you're gonna open it and you're gonna to wanna to go through it. Now the door is gonna stay open. That's because you don't have a electrical switch inside. You're gonna to wanna to take your electrical sw switch and you're gonna run it to your reactor that's going to be fueled with your carbon and you're then you're going to want to take another one and power it to your door to an outlet like so and so when you use it it's going to go red and it's going to open the door and when you toggle it again it's going to close it so you have a toggle switch that can now open and close doors 
So all four concepts are going to be demonstrated in this video in one way or another. The floor switch is slept on when it comes to electrical switches and powering your base. I don't see it too often, so if I can at least demonstrate a way it could be used, hopefully somebody can use it. Now you're going to take a battery, which is what I use. It doesn't have to be a battery. It, basically anything that's coming from something that can generate power. It can come from a solar panel. I ran a wire through here just for demonstration purposes so you can see what I'm doing. And you're going to take it and you're going to put it to one side. Run the wire to the green side. And then you're going to take one from your modifier and put it to the right switch. And then take the one from your green and attach it to the door. I'm not going to use technical names because it's confusing, but I am going to uh, say what colors they are. So when you stand on it, you're going to activate it, and you're going to run through. You can place it a little closer. I only placed it so far away because, you know, just for demonstration purposes, and so you could see exactly how it works. Something that I wish I knew early on was that you can conceal solar panels and batteries, and that they don't need to be in the open. So when you're building your base, and your base is too big, and it takes a ton of solar panels, all you got to do is you can bury them or you can conceal them in another room. So we're going to take our tool and we're going to dig out this trench that I built. And as you can see, even though everything's buried, there is still power generating to the room. And also, usually when you build, you have all these wires are going everywhere. Sometimes they're leaving the door and they just don't look that good aesthetically. So if you want more of a cosmetic look, you can put this cloaking device down and what it's going to do is, is it's going to remove all the wires and it's going to make everything look much, much better. Because the cloaking device is within range of my build up here that I use for a demonstration, you're not going to see any wires. However, if you go into your build menus, you are going to see wires, which is a good thing. You're going to want to be able to see what you're doing. Hopefully you were able to learn something in today's video where I covered beginner and intermediate topics and different concepts. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.